Hi guys, I'm Jesse from the YouTube channel Jesse the Reader, and today I'm bringing you another episode of Epic Adaptations, the series here on Epic Reads where I wrap up all your recent YA book to movie and book to TV adaptation news. Fans of John Green will be excited to know that his most recent release, Turtles All the Way Down, has been picked up to be turned into a film. The story follows 16 year old Aza as she finds herself wrapped up in this mystery about a billionaire who's gone missing. The story also has a major focus on Aza's struggles with mental illness. Fox, who is also behind Behind the adaptation for John Green's The Fault in Our Stars has picked up Turtles All the Way Down in hopes of turning it into a film. I'm super excited that Fox ended up picking up this book because The Fault in Our Stars is one of my all-time favorite book-to-movie adaptations. Like, it is done so well, so I really can't wait to see what they do with this adaptation. I have super high hopes already. Next up is a comic book that's been picked up to be turned into a series, and that is Sabrina the Teenage Witch. I grew up watching and loving the Sabrina the Teenage Witch television series that starred Melissa Jones heart, so I am super excited that they're bringing this series back. I believe they're going with a darker tone for this series, kind of giving us more Riverdale vibes, which I'm okay with because I am trash for Riverdale. It's going to have a much darker approach, whereas the Sabrina the Teenage Witch that I grew up with was more fun and lighthearted. And the show has already cast its leading lady, we know who our Sabrina is going to be. Kiernan Shipka is set to star in the series and to be our Sabrina the Teenage Witch. The series is set to release later this year on Netflix, which I I'm super happy that Netflix has this series because I feel like they're gonna do a fantastic job with it because Netflix continues to provide us with quality shows. Also really addicting shows that we binge in one sitting. The Shadowhunter series, which is loosely based off of Cassandra Clare's The Mortal Instruments series, has cast the character Jordan. Jordan will be played by Chai Hansen, whom you might recognize from another book to TV series, The Hundred, a personal favorite of mine. I'm really excited to see what Chai brings to the Shadowhunter series and I'm excited to see him take on the role of Jordan. Shadowhunters is set to make its return for season 3 on March 20th. We finally got a trailer for the third and final question mark Maze Runner trilogy movie The Death Cure. The trilogy of movies is based off of James Dashner's trilogy of books, The Maze Runner trilogy. How many times can I say trilogy? Apparently too many times. And can I just say that I am super happy that this trilogy of movies didn't follow the trend of splitting the third and final movie into two parts. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Did that trend ever bother any of you guys? Because it really bothered me. I am curious to see if this will be the final film though to come from the Maze Runner franchise. I only question this because I know that since the release of the movies that James Dashner has released more books in this world. So I'm interested to see if they're going to use that material and turn them into movies in the future. But I guess only time will tell. Anyway, the trailer showcases lots of action, lots of running, and lots of high speed driving. It looks like it's going to be one intense and action packed film. The movie is set to release on January 26th, which is so soon. Sooner than I realized. So if you get the chance to go and check out this book to movie adaptation, go out there and support it. Lastly today, I have a bit of sad news for fans of the book to TV series, The Shannara Chronicles. Unfortunately, The Shannara Chronicles has been cancelled. After a network change and a solid two seasons, the series has been dropped. I'm super sad about this because I love this series. It's super underrated and underappreciated. And I think more people should have given it a chance. In fact, you still can because the first season is on Netflix and you should go and check it out. I'm super passionate about this. I'm holding on to hope though that this is not the end of the Shannara Chronicles series. And that's because I know that the Shannara Chronicles creators are actually shopping around networks and trying to see if somebody else will pick up the series. Please, Netflix, just pick up the series and give us a third season. Pretty, pretty, please. That's all the adaptation news I have for you guys today. You guys should let me know down below in the comments what you thought of the news that I talked about today. Are you excited for the Turtles All the Way Down adaptation? Are you excited for the Death Cure? Are you ready for Shadowhunter Season 3 to be here already? Let me know down below all your thoughts. As always, thanks for watching guys, and I will see you next month for another epic adaptation. Bye.